question six then from the 2022 higher maths paper one four marks this time evaluate this definite integral definite because you're going to get a final answer definite because you've got two limits here a lower limit of negative five and an upper limit of two well the other thing to notice is it's not just the letter x that's got a power on it there's a whole expression here, but at least it's a linear expression. If it's a linear expression, you can do it the same way as if that just said x. You've got the chain rule, you've got a function of a function. Just do the outer one, then deal with the inner one. So if that was just x, the next line would just have said whatever it is, if it was just an x, add one to the power and divide by the new power. Now I'd prefer to multiply by the reciprocal because it saves drawing a line there, but you've probably done this. Divide by that new power, so times a half. Now consider the inside. It was a 10 minus 3x. The derivative of that is negative 3. 10 is just a constant. So divide by that negative 3, because that's the opposite of what you would have done if you were differentiating this. If you were differentiating this, you'd have multiplied by the inner derivative. Since you're doing the opposite, Integrating, you're going to divide by the inner derivative. Now, having just, just writing that down gets you two of the marks. You get one mark for doing the outside part, or having this written, and then you get another mark for dividing by the inner derivative. Well, but you've still got to evaluate this. So I'm not going to put plus C, because if I did, you could put plus C if you like, but the thing is, once you've worked it out twice and subtracted them, the C and the C would just cancel each other out. So I have to evaluate that from negative 5 to 2. But I think, first of all, tidy this up. That's a bit messy. So that's a negative 3 upon 2 underneath. So that would become a negative 2 thirds multiplying. Dividing by a fraction becomes multiplying by the reciprocal. So this is what you're going to be evaluating. And I think I'll rewrite that half as a square root just to make it quite clear because it's easier to see it with that square root sign. Now, let's get evaluated. Another thing here is this. There's still no marks yet until I start doing the two parts. That negative two-thirds is going to multiply both answers. So you could just leave that outside, rather than having negative two-thirds times this minus negative two-thirds times that. Do that if you like. I think I'll take that negative two-thirds outside and then just do the two parts. So... Evaluate it at the top first. So that's the square root of 10 minus 3 times 2. Minus, now evaluate it at the lower limit. That'll be 10 minus 3 times, whoops, negative 5. Both get multiplied by this, you know, rather than having written them inside. So that's negative 2 thirds. Now, starting to evaluate it gets the next mark. Now, what have we got? 6. 10 minus 6, that's root 4. I think it allowed just to go straight in with 2. 10 plus 15 is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. 2 take away 5 is negative 3. The 3s will cancel. The negatives will cancel as well, leaving just the answer 2. don't think it was really necessary there to have to write negative two-thirds times negative three for those to cancel and that to cancel. But you could if you wished.